How to Enhance Live Chat Agent's Performance with Help of Chat Reporting App Get Complaints from Customers? Have High Churn Rate in Customer Service? Don't Know How Your Live Chat Agents Perform? Live Chat Reporting helps to solve user experience, traffic and agent performance issues. In this video we will share best practices on using Live Chat Reporting tool to improve Live Chat Agents performance. First, let's open Provide Support's Live Chat Reporting app and log into our test account, where we have collected some basic metrics for better demonstration. On each application page, you can see a brief information about the account and a chosen reporting period. You can change the reporting period or select a custom one, and also initiate forced data reload from the server. By default, the reporting for the last seven days is displayed. We will analyze reporting data for this period in our video. On the overview page, you can see a general information on your support team and chat tool performance during the reporting period. Total online time and conducted chats, average metrics, pre-chat survey and offline form loads, together with click-through rate. The company page provides a detailed statistics on your team's performance for the selected reporting period. I will put check marks for metrics accepted chats and missed chats to compare them. As you have noticed, metrics change depending on the day of week or time of the day. For example, there were no chats during the weekend when our test account was offline and if you select our scale, you will see busiest hours and the hours when there were few or no chats. To clear checkboxes just click reset checkboxes selection icon. However, if you need to know the load rate of your agents or how efficient they are, open agents tab to see the detailed reporting on each of your team member. In our test account all incoming chats are assigned to all online agents and any agent can accept the chat. Thus, there will not be a missed chats metric for agents, but you will see the acceptance rate for each agent and will be able to compare the total number of chat calls and accepted chats. The load rate shows the percent of accepted chats. This will show the team members who are the most productive and those ones who accept the least number of chats. But remember that your agents can receive a different number of incoming chats, depending on the departments they are assigned to. In our test account, operators 2 and 3 are assigned only to customer service department, and operator 1 is assigned to both customer service and technical support departments, thus this agent received more chats and was busier than other ones. However, it is not enough to check these metrics to make conclusions. Agents assigned to technical support department may have longer and more complicated chats than customer service agents. You need to take into account the following metrics which impact agent performance, average agent and total messages in chat. Average chat duration. Average chat accept and reply time. If chats are long and contain many messages, this means they are more complicated and agents require more time to handle them. Chat accept and reply time show the level of proficiency of your agents. If your agents reply and accept chats fast, this means they are good professionals. However, if it takes them much time to reply or accept the chat this can show that either they need more thorough training or they handle several chats concurrently and thus it takes them more time to provide responses and as a result this leads to lower customer satisfaction rate. In this situation graphs will be very handy. You can check the busiest hours for both specific agent and the whole department. First let me select the load rate for agents and display it for hours. The same I will do for departments after switching to departments tab. This information will help to distribute the load evenly and assign more agents during your customer service busy hours. I can also select a specific day to view a more detailed breakdown of my busy hours. Another important metric is customer service satisfaction. I'll select the day representation and then choose the proficiency and politeness metrics for all three operators. Afterward, I'll adjust my custom period to one week. The points your agents receive from the post-chat surveys automatically go to the proficiency and politeness columns in the reporting tool, allowing you to easily track their performance. Thanks for watching. If any questions appear please contact our support team available 24-7 at ProvideSupport.com.